Hello there, uh, it's Tenran432, and um, I noticed that my other gaming videos aren't doing very good. In fact, it's it's the one-off videos that I seem to be making that get more attention. Uh, nobody really watches my gaming videos. Hopefully that will change today, as I've found a much better game called Car Parking 3D. Uh, I figured that my gaming videos aren't getting a lot of attention because of the choice of game that I choose to play, mainly the high-budget games from Capcom or Sony, such as Mega Man or Shadow of the Colossus. But today we're going to be trying something a little different. This is on an, uh, an Amazon Fire Stick here. And we're going to be playing Car Parking 3D. Just found this in the Amazon Fire Stick game store. It says it's a 3D driving simulation game with realistic graphics and sounds. Smooth controls, realistic physics, and parking missions make this game very addictive to play. Start this driving game today to be the best car driver and car parker. Please note, the app contains in-app purchasing, which allows you to buy items within the app using actual money. Okay. So already, it seems like a very good game. Um, why don't we check out the trailer real quick? Push on that accelerator, or perhaps take it to reverse. Make sure you get your turns proper. Things can get a bit tricky, especially with a ticking time clock. Mistakes will surely be made. Play various difficulty levels, but mistakes will still be made. You can follow helpful arrows or make your own destiny. Trouble is around every corner when you play Car Parking 3D. So honestly, not a badly made, not a poorly made trailer at all. Probably better the production value than any of my YouTube videos. So let's let's finally start on this. Open the app. All right. So immediately into the game, we've got this fantastic music and 30% um, off advertisement on cars. Three dollars, kind of overpriced in my opinion. Uh, but let's actually get to the main menu, filled with ads and special detail, or deals, I mean. Buy the full game? Uh, probably not going to do that. Let's just play what we have right now. So, right off the bat, we see we've got the Mustard. That's pretty loud, and we've got some other cards as well. We have to buy them, though, so... That is really loud. So we're going to just stick with the default Mustard. And see just how this goes. That is really loud. Hmm. Right off the bat, we've got some very, very accessible controls. Forward means go forward. Uh, back means go back, and you can turn. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty sure we're supposed to follow the arrows. Stop here. All right. Pretty satisfying sound design, so far. And it would appear, appear as if we have our first obstacles. These uh, opening and closing gates. Don't want to get smashed by those. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess I'm a just not good gamer. There we go. Level 2 is done. I really do wonder how long this is going to go on. Because I'm actually starting to enjoy this game. I messed up on the turning there. Get out of there. That one was kind of tricky. I think I've got the hang of the, the turning. Nope. Oh. Okay. Alright, there we go. No? Okay. I do like that it tells you, it reminds you of the controls uh, for each loading screen, because I, I do actually kind of forget what they are, um, being that they're simple directions. I never actually learned the directions. Um. Oh. And I, I really like this sound that it gives you every time you beat a level. It's a pretty satisfying sound to hear. 
little bidding and then flying along. Very nice. Excellent. So we're on the seventh level of this fantastic game, and um, I'm not sure how much there is left. I, I really don't want this, you know, experience to end. Uh, however, that level was basically the same layout as level two, with more background details. So I, I hope they're not starting to run out of ideas. This one looks quite interesting. In the trailer, they mentioned that you actually don't need to follow the arrows. So I'm going to try that out right now, see if it works. And it did. Fantastic. See if I can do this one without getting hit. Oh, look at that. The turning actually feels very intuitive and accessible to anyone can pick up this game and play it. It's really not that difficult. There we go. And one more turn. Alright, cool. And I guess that's all they're going to let us play, unless we purchase the full game. Uh, I don't have much uh, cash in my internet accounts, so I don't believe we're going to be able to buy it at the moment. So I, w I went ahead and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. Um, some of these other reviews here are pretty interesting. You have this first, this review by Iannis Yola. I gave it 5 stars and a check mark. Uh, that's pretty good. And this man, Joseph C., um, unfortunately gave it uh, 1 out of 5 stars. Said junk can't play without spending money full, and then ran out of room in the subject. Subject line. So, let's read this guy's review, see what he has to say. He said, Very stupid game, graphics are bad, and you can only play a few levels, and it wants you to play. Well, Mr. Joseph C., it's, it's a free-to-play game. It makes sense that they would want some kind of payment for playing the game. And the graphics are not that bad. I, I would like you to see you design some kind of better graphics in your video game. I don't know. Only 28 out of 45 people found this helpful. And that's actually not very good for the game developers. Not very supportive. Um, let's try to find a, another better review. Alright, lots of reviews here. Um, this bad review by Amazon customer says it was terrible. I can't ever delete the app, so I'm stuck with this dumb app. I did not learn anything on this app. It was just not fun. Well, I'm sorry to say that, um, Amazon customer. Hopefully you have a better time with some other Amazon games. Uh, this man gave it a one star, Rebecca, I mean, I assume it's a man at least. It says experience is very poor. Daughter uses this, good product, good review, good review. By uh, Dernk Nivellabilham. You guys can decipher that in the comments down below. Uh, okay, Africa to have, I like, I like, alright, cool. Okay, okay, I think it was okay as well. Hard to play. Having trouble playing it. I personally thought that the controls were very, very intuitive, very accessible to most people. I think it's actually not that difficult. Um, one star by Ron. It said, stupid AP. Really? A stupid, useless app? Oh well, live and learn. Got one star from Matt. It said, no. Bad. And then five stars from Adam Wall, saying it's an easy game to play and keeps them busy. Well, there's actually very a lot of a lot of reviews here. I'm not going to have time to read them all. I personally think it was a very good game. Um, I give it 4 stars for the easy intuitive controls, good graphics for a free to play game, and a pretty good amount of levels kept me satisfied for at least 3 days. So yeah, that's Car Park 3D. This video does good. Maybe I'll play some of their other games by uh, Rendered Ideas. I honestly like this company and would like to support them in the future. But uh, their game didn't really catch me enough to spend real money. Not that kind of support.
support that you can show me by subscribing to my YouTube channel or liking the video. So yeah, go do it. Peace and cheap.